This video is sponsored by Autonomous. Hey, what's up guys? Nuno here. In this video, I'll show you how to create a realistic car animation similar to the one you saw in the beginning of the video. While software like Lumion and D5 Render offer car animations, they tend to be quite basic, following a simple path without any suspension or realistic features. However, the animation I'll teach you today allows you to have full control over every aspect, including suspension force, acceleration and braking, resulting in a truly realistic effect. And the best part is that you can control the animation just like you would in a video game using your keyboard arrow keys. This makes the process incredibly simple and intuitive. So let's get started and create an impressive car animation that will bring your projects to life. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to this website called Craft Director Studio. So this is an animation plugin that you can install in 3ds Max, which is a software we are going to do the animation and then we'll import it to other software, it can be Lumion, can be D5 Render. In my case, I'm just going to show you the final animation in uh, Lumion, but you can also import it into D5 Render or other software that just allows you to import animations. And so here, what you're going to do is just download and it will start downloading the file. And inside you'll have this executable file you just run it, install it, and then when you open 3ds Max, I have here uh, already a car ready to be used. This is the car that I used in that animation that you saw in the beginning of the video. And since I don't have any character here, I just cut part of a character and just put it inside, attached to the car. The windows are tinted, so it's not so super noticeable, so it's okay. And then to open that uh, plugin, what you need to do is go here to the top and you'll see the last one, utilities. And then we have here configure button sets. We click it and we scroll down way, way low to the end. And we see this one here. We need to scroll down a little lower here. If you don't see extra buttons, it's because I think by default it's here eight buttons. So you just need to set more buttons here. And now you are able to add new things here. So I'm just going to drag and drop here and just press OK. And now I see this button, Craft Director Studio Utility. So I'll click, opens up a new menu and Start Director Studio. I have it in an, another window. So when you click, it shows up. Now, this is really, really simple to set up. So what you need to do is just click, left click and hold. And it will show here this four wheeler free so this is, you have two, two, two versions, one for airplane, another for this four-wheeler. So let's use this four-wheeler free. I mean, if you don't want to use the, the plugin for free, this is the two versions that you can use. Then before we do anything else, let's just click here on this gamepad. And this is to say how you want to control the car. So in my case, I'm going to use my keyboard. So I just double click this example keyboard. And now you can see that it's the up arrow, down arrow, right, page up. I have the control for braking and the handbrake at the end key. So I just press close, okay? And these controls are basically the same as you would control any video game, okay? Any car video game. And now let's see where is the car. Okay, it's here. So I just press Z to find this template, okay? Just going to move this up here. And so we need to move this car to the same position as we have this one here. Okay. So let's zoom out. You can move here. Now I see that I need to rotate. In 3ds Max, you can toggle this snapping tool. So it will be easier when you rotate to rotate exactly 90 degrees. Okay. So I'm just checking here the exact position. So now I'm going to scale it. So I need to have at least my wheels more or less in the same position. Okay. I think something like this. Now I go to the side and I adjust the side as well. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. So now one important thing to do is that let me just hide the car. To hide this template card, I just click it. And then on the green icon here, it, it's hidden. So 
One thing that you need to have on your card that you import and, do, and you want to animate is that it needs to be separated into different groups. It needs to be the wheels, all the wheel and everything that makes part of the wheel needs to be one group, okay? So this is, let's say, the left front wheel, one group. This one, the right front wheel, another group. This one for the rear and this one from the rear left. So, and the next one is this part. So this is all the groups you need, you need five groups. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Now I can unhide this template here by clicking this green icon again. And now we need to adjust these wheels. So till you just see part of the other wheel, it's enough. Here I think it should be a little bit higher, like so. Okay, something like this will work fine. So we can adjust this one. Okay, I'm gonna do this one too. Okay, I think this is enough. Then we need to link this template car, this gray car, actually it's a yellowish color, <laughs> but we need to link it to the this car, this uh, Mercedes car. What we need to do is go here to the top, we see select and link. We click, and now we're gonna click on the wheels of the actual car, and then we're gonna link it to the wheel of the template. Again, same thing. Okay, wheel of the car, wheel of the template, wheel of the car, wheel of the template. Same thing here, just this car to the template. Okay, now back again with the move tool. Now, if I move the car, you see that everything moves together. Okay, so the first part, it's done. So I've been using this autonomous office chair for some time now. This one is the Ergo Chair Plus. The design of this chair has one of the most unique designs. It's got a bunch of adjustable features that make it quite comfortable. I got this black frame naked grey TPE mesh material that keeps you cool and comfortable, especially during those long work sessions. It's also great the adaptive spinal support for your back instead of the usual only lumbar support. This mesh kind of molds to the shape of your body, giving you support exactly where you need it. It features an adjustable seat with these springs that stabilize the lumbar. There's also the adjustable armrest where you can adjust them horizontally or move the arms up and down. The adjustable reclining tension goes quite far where you can use this handle to make it tighter or looser so it responds just right to your movements. Now, I won't lie, this isn't a budget chair. But if you are like me, spending hours at your desk, investing in a good chair is a no-brainer. It's all about comfort and avoiding those discomforts and pains from sitting too long. You can also grab a discount using my code. I'll drop a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Now, I have here several things that I want to show you on the list. So I have, let's start with this one. So I'm using just very simple shapes, so it's quite easy to understand. And so let's imagine this is a street, just a plain street. And uh, we have this arrow that comes with the template, right? And what we need to do with this arrow is we need to go select and link and we need to click the arrow. And then we need to click the area that we want the car to move on. Okay. So we do that. And after we do that, we just click here, record. Okay. So you can see how the car moves. We are seeing the template, but no problem. We can just click this green icon. Okay, and now the template is gone. And we can see how the car moves. We can brake like this. We can go like this. And if we press handbrake, we can really see how the car really stops. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna press stop. There's also, I forgot to tell you, I need to go here. If you want to the nitro, you also have nitro. I'm just going to put it on a, let's say, can be N for nitro and 
I'm going to press here on the timeline. I'm going to move all the way to the left. Ah, and there's one another another very important thing is that if you want to export this to Lumion, so for example, you need to go here to time configuration and actually change this to PAL so it has uh, 25 frames per second. Okay, this is the one that will be compatible with Lumion. Press OK. So now at zero, every time you make a record, if you if you did something that you didn't like, you need to drag back here the timeline to start again. So press record. And here we go. If I press N, see the car goes really fast and now I cannot break. <laughs> so let's go, let's go again. Let's go back and let's press record. I'm actually going to press Nitro and then I will try to handbrake. So Nitro and handbrake. So you see, it's uh, quite nice. I'm just going to see from the side. So again, I'm going to go back. So I'm going to press Nitro and then break. So it looks quite nice. And you can change everything in the car. For example, let's go to Tool, Configure, and Vehicle Settings. So if I change here the suspension, actually there's general settings as well, where you can change the acceleration, top speed, all of that. But for vehicle settings, let's say that the suspension, instead of 10, let's make it 100. Close. And now let's start the car and let's see the difference. So now, if I break, so you can see that I almost don't see the suspension moving. So it's really, really stiff now. But now if I go back and change this to one instead of 10, which, which was the default. So let's go back, record. Okay, so let's go and <laughs> now you see that the suspension is really, really bouncy, right? So it, it's a huge difference. But again, you can set up the suspension you can spend some time going here to the setup and change really these values to match the best the type of car you are adding here so in my case i'm going to just going to put here to 15 the weight and that's it so this was one example now let's go here and going to hide this and i'm going to load this one so this one, it's a little bit different. It has a, a little bump here, right? And so on this one, what I want to do is to, again, link this arrow here and just press record. And we see a bump. So we're probably going to see the car hitting that bump and, uh-oh, didn't work. We are not seeing the car going over that bump. And why is that? Because we need to attach all the elements okay so if this is one element let's go here and we can go here to edit poly and now we sign this here attach so we click here and we click on this one so now it's attached to that one so now it will work correctly okay so always remember to do that so i'm just going to press record I'm just going to hide that car and now if i go over that ramp so you can see that the car is reacting to the ramp okay so that ramp of course is <laughs> way too big but uh, you can get the idea so now let's move to another one another test so let's say that we have a very rough terrain like this one you are seeing here and which is actually the case in uh, some areas they have very very nice roads <laughs> let me know in the comments if your location has roads similar to this one <laughs> and here now let's see how the car reacts to this type of terrain and so you see that's really going we have so many bumps here on the road and it's still able to do it quite nice okay so i'm just going to lower it so you can see better yeah and actually let's make this clay mode okay so you see how it moves okay so this is another thing another type of terrain and you see that it works quite well 
I'm just going to stop and let's just go to the final test and move this again to the back. And so it's like a big, big ramp. So let's see how it will handle this. Ah, I forgot to link. So let's link. Okay. Okay. So, and here it goes. See, looks quite nice. And it's quite realistic. I almost went over. <laughs> and as you see, controlling this car and making the animation, it's really easy because it's like you are controlling the car with your arrow keys. So it's really easy to make the car go exactly how you want it. And then the plugin does the rest of the for the animation. And let's say that I want to import this exact animation. It's quite lengthy already. So I'm just going to stop it. What, what I need to do is simply go to File, Export, and now I just give you the name. So I'm going to call this Car, Car Animation Test 01. Press Save. There are a few things that you need to check here. For example, if it has the animation here, okay, you can start actually by selecting this one, Autodesk Media and Entertainment, and Animation, be sure it's ticked going to add it here smoothing groups just press ok so it will start the export it's okay all right so now in lumion i'm just going to import the model so i'm just going to select here the model click open and be sure that you have import animations turned on okay just press ok to import the animation and it should start automatically playing the animation so it will play one time the animation in the in the build mode as you can see here okay it's already stopped so now we can go to movie let's create a new camera so I'm just gonna place the camera about here and then a new one just moving like this Okay, I'm going to set it for, I don't know, it was quite lengthy, so maybe 40 seconds. Press save. And when you play, you should be able to see the animation going on. Okay. Uh, of course, I didn't set any textures on the car or, or on the road. So this is something that you, you can easily do when, uh, when you are in build mode. Actually, let me just show you. So let's say that I want to add an asphalt texture here. I can just go here to the materials and go to landscape, asphalt, and it can be this one. Okay, so we can see again here. And so yeah, there you have it. This is how you can make a car animation in 3ds Max. It's really easy to do, as you can see. And it just takes you, what, five to 10 minutes to make the animation. And in the end, you'll have a much better looking animation. And by the way, I invite you to check out my new Lumion Render course. It's dedicated for the new Lumion 2023, and it features interiors, exteriors with ray tracing and with rasterization. It has a module dedicated to beginners to Lumion. You have a lot of new bonuses, like high quality 3D models, high quality PVR materials, a new Discord community. So I invite you to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let me know what you think of this car animation and don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you in the next one.